What's good, YouTube? Coach Guns bringing you NCAA 14 College Football Revamped. And we are at the start of the 2023 season. As you well know, last year we went 0 and 12. Didn't get a single victory. And that was obviously extremely disappointing and frustrating. Which I was extremely frustrated last season. I meant to upload the off-season portion, which I love the off-season. However, I messed up and I uh, didn't record it. There was some technical difficulty or whatever. <clears throat> so we're going to have to go over the roster a little bit more in depth. Show you some of the new pieces we got. Surprisingly, we did not get a transfer. Any tran people from the transfer portal. No one wanted to come to New Mexico from the transfer portal. Which is extremely frustrating because I was banking on that during the season. Like, you know what? We could just build through the transfer portal. Add talent. And, you know, rebuild the roster a little bit at key positions. That was not the case. That did not happen at all. We did get some really big pieces on the offensive line that we'll go over. As well as a freshman quarterback in Ryan Kirby. However, as you can see, does not appear he's ready to start day one. Looks like Justin Holiday will be our starting quarterback, competing against CJ Montez, who had a career low completion percentage last year. You know, and when it comes to redshirting quarterbacks, we're going to redshirt Kirby, and <clears throat> worst comes to worst with the injuries, we could always just unredshirt them. There's uh, Davion Williams, freshman running back. He's going to be redshirted. Walk-on fullback. Here's our two receivers that we brought into the class. Um, yeah, as you can see, nothing special here at the skilled position. Uh, so they'll both be redshirted. I don't know if we could redshirt them both, but we could always fill them in what's at the tight end position. It's kind of crazy we're going to be losing three tight ends, though. We, uh, I don't even know if we can redshirt them. Do something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> so anyway, see this left tackle right here, Austrian Lewis? He was one of the guys we were competing with extremely hard for. And as you can see, look at his overall. He, he was a gem. He's by far one of our best players, and he's only a freshman. So he's obviously not getting redshirted because if we don't give him playing time, if we don't give him snaps, you know, as much as we'd love to keep him four years, he ain't staying four years. He's going to enter the transfer portal. He's going to go play for another program, a more prolific program. So we got to give his, this guy reps. Uh, there's our freshman right guard we got. Um, Cody Rosie, he was our... Juco center that we brought in. Obviously, he's no better than the current center. But, you know, just to add depth, another freshman guard we brought in. And to top it out, another gem at right tackle. Johnston Pekanko. This guy is massive. 6'5", 320 pounds. And just like the left tackle, Got to give him rips, got to give him snaps, got to give him game time, because if not, they're going to transfer out. And that was really big to get two gems at the tackle positions. That should help our offense, because they're obviously way better than what we've had the past couple of years, last season for sure. And uh, should be a massive upgrade on the offensive line. Um, when it comes to defensive end, 
brought in Avery Jones. We're going to redshirt him because, you know, there's already depth at his position. And uh, I don't think he's going to go anywhere if he gets redshirted. Same thing with uh, Connie McMillan, another redshirt. This was our four-star defensive tackle that we signed. We signed one four-star, and this was him. He obviously was a bust um, for obvious reasons. Um, no one was recruiting him, which is why we had a shot at him. And obviously they knew that he had uh, issues. So there he is. Uh, he's going to get redshirted. He needs to get in the weight room. He's really weak for a defensive tackle. Well, I guess that's relative because all these guys have been in college. For a lot longer, and he's not that much weaker than them. But <clears throat> to be at the level we want him to on this defense, he's going to have to uh, definitely hit the weight room, um, work on everything. His power move is extremely low compared to everyone else. So he's definitely going to get redshirted, and uh, he's going to need to get in there and hit the weight room. This was our line, one of our linebackers we brought in. He turned out to be okay, you know. Um, probably going to let him play, and I'm probably going to just redshirt Jack Cantrell. <coughs> that gives us three linebackers at the position, and we could always uh, definitely he's getting redshirted. And then <clears throat> from our cornerbacks, we have Khalil Avery. He's he's really slow. I might put this guy eventually put him at safety. His uh, he's really slow at 81 speed, which is just not going to cut it. Uh, AJ Clemens does have the speed to be a corner. However, he is missing, you know, his coverage ability isn't where we want it to be. His tackling ability specifically being a 49. Uh, so, <clears throat> obviously, he's very undersized. Um, his coverage ability isn't that bad, but it's clearly his tackling ability. And we can't have him out there and not be able to tackle. So, he's going to be a developmental guy. And... Uh, one that I'm curious to see how he develops in the future and how how he grows. Derek Willis. <coughs> this guy was a complete bust at a 53 overall. Um, so he's obviously going to get redshirted. And Adari Halsey. He was our uh, first team all-conference, a freshman All-American. He is really good, and if he stays with us one more season after this, he'll definitely be going pro, and uh, he has a bright career and a bright future for himself, and uh, that basically rounds off everything when it comes to changes to our roster. Um, <coughs> talk about the college football playoffs. Uh, the last four last season were not much different than this season. It was Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, and USC instead of TCU. But I uh, wish I could have showed you guys that, but messed up. But Georgia ended up winning the 2022 college football playoff. Uh, they beat Michigan. So there was that. And, uh, yeah. And so I've been reviewing some film of our defensive performances and uh, <clears throat> we were very one-dimensional with our blitz packages with our coverages and I'm hoping this year to be a little bit more dynamic with our blitz packages and our run defense so we'll see how that goes uh, schedule wise we might be able to actually get a win we got a FCS team and Drake coming through North Texas we're at A&M, we're at UTEP with a bye, and then we start Mountain West play. So there's definitely some chances on this schedule 
for us to get some W's, but it's extremely important that we play well, we play hard, and, you know, we're consistent. And so <clears throat> what ended up happening with our team is the head coach got fired and uh, a new guy came in and we were, we were retained, which is uh, obviously nice because we are trying to build something here before we move on to our next gig. And, you know, we want to uh, show that we can build a defense before hopping around or getting fired or this and that. <clears throat> Obviously, we're on the hot seat, though. We're going to need to get some wins. Uh, we're going to need to be able to play really good defense. And, uh, yeah, if we don't show improvement in the win column, if we don't show improvement on defense, I could see this being our last year here. And I don't want it this to be our last year. I feel like we're building something special. I feel like we're building something, you know, something, you know, really great. And uh, so we have our work. We're going to have our work cut out for us. Um, we don't have any promises. Or wait, I had to press. I'll view promises. We didn't make any promises to anybody. So, you know, we're going to have our work cut out for us. Let's go look at career stats. That's something I wanted to look at last year was our end of the year season stats, but that was another thing I messed up on. So CJ Monta is coming in with a whole 35% completion percentage, which isn't going to get it done, which is why we're giving uh, the other guy an opportunity. Running back position also very stale. Receiver. just all bad so Adari I dare I Halsey Halsey had 90 tackles last year five sacks a pick I definitely want to get him more picks this year well he wants to get more picks this year I want him to get more picks this year um, so it's gonna be I hope hope they could do that we need to force more turnovers give our offense better position and uh and Amar Damare, he uh didn't progress as much as I'd like at the defensive line position. So I'm having him start at the buck position this year. Obviously who's our best pass rusher, so hopefully we're putting him in a position to be successful and uh, you know we could help him out that way, but I mean, that's basically it for for that. Do we have any? Hopefully, we could break some break some records this year. That'd be nice. That's cool. How college football revamped put in all those uh, records. Let's see who else. That's really cool. That's really cool. Really like how they did that. That is so cool. Really cool. All right, so let's go take a look at our recruiting board. I already set it up so you didn't have to go through the nonsense of me uh, going through everything, but let me show you our positions of need real quick. Basically, we only need two positions of need, wide receiver and middle linebacker. I mean, punter and kicker, I'll just have walk-ons come on. We need help in other positions, so there's that. But uh, to start it off, we're recruiting uh, one quarterback, three running backs. These are all guys are on the board. 
This guy, he uh, four star. I don't know if we'll get him, but we're gonna try to compete for him. And uh, obviously, we want more depth at the offensive line position. Um, defensive, uh, defensively, we're gonna need to recruit hard. We didn't get as much as I wanted last year. Uh, this guy is one of the guys I really want, Brandon Sh Shizzo. Really big, really strong. Uh, Donald Johnson, another guy, really big, really strong. I'd really like to get those two guys at the defensive uh, tackle position. Another four-star that is uh, kind of interested in us. So we're going to try to compete for him. And uh, Tezel Jones, he is not being recruited heavily. And uh, we're going to try to try to go nab him up. So, obviously, nothing like too crazy. Um, we don't even have that many players out of New Mexico. Um, I'll show you New Mexico real quick. Uh, we tried to recruit most of them out of New Mexico being our home state, but uh, there's just not a lot of talent here. And then uh, Devin, he doesn't fit what we want to do on offense. I don't want a Juco kicker, so... I mean, we, we're trying to recruit everyone out of New Mexico. Uh, so, there's that. Um, and that should be it for that. I have a bye week the first week, so we'll go over preseason rankings and uh, all that fun stuff. Cool, we have a bunch of guys ready to visit. Let's go take a look at recruiting real quick. We'll get this guy coming in. Oh, we could get him first game of the season. Cool. We offered him all scholarships. We'll put him in first game week first game of the season versus Drake. If we could sign all these guys, that would be really helpful. Okay. So, obviously, we need to recruit the quarterback position. And that's what we're going to do. Um, Oof, we're already going to be short on points. Uh. Cool. And then for the defensive line... Gotta grab this guy. Ugh. Just very difficult, man. to pick and choose who we want to go after. Um, this guy's really, really big. Let's go to the full overall. I 
Who are recruiting at the running back position? that I guess okay so now that that recruiting is all done let's go take a look at preseason polls conference outlooks so Michigan Alabama USC Georgia Ohio State Georgia after winning the natty they're projected to make the college football playoff again huh Florida I know we're, I'm assuming we're probably like 120th or something oh we're actually dead last in the country cool so we have generally the worst roster in the entire college football hmm. interesting that's great conference outlook we are projected to finish last in our conference which is obvious reasons we're projected to have the least amount of talent so there's that Pac-12 USC and Washington Big Ten Michigan Ohio State obviously all the blue buds Oklahoma Texas Pittsburgh, Florida State, Miami. Man, I wonder what we could do at a job like that. Like, I feel like we could do some major things at a school like that. But we'll, we'll get our opportunity eventually. We just got to, you know, work hard, play hard, and do really well this season. Bunch of running backs, huh? Caleb Williams and 99 overall, huh? Surprised to see a bunch of running backs on there. Preseason All Americans. Do we have any? We do. Preseason All American Ray Ledlatte. First team, huh? Well, that's big. If anything, I was expecting uh, Halsey to be on there. Man, we got a lot of defenders on here. If anything, that should just goes to show you how good, you know, maybe we're not trash like they say on defense. Look at that. First team, Mountain West, we're just loaded with guys from us. And yeah, we don't have a single offensive guy. So that goes to show you, huh? There's that a fun little thing. I mean, we're projected to get better, though. I mean, as you can see, like, we're clearly bringing in talent to the point where, like, we're going to get it better over time. Because uh, if you look at 2026, who's projected, like, there's a lot of teams that are supposed to be worse than us. So, you know, it shows you our roster's improving. Uh, who's number one? LSU. That's really cool really cool really cool Oof. that's not good all right well that's basically that that's disgusting Well, that's it for the preseason of the 2023 season. I'll see you next week for our home game against FCS Drake. And uh, hopefully we start off the season right with a W. I mean, we should. It's an FCS team, but who knows? Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Coach Guns out.